Coming up is part one of the course from makethattrack.com. As a member of our website, you get access to all the links, presets, samples and loops and also project files, including MIDI, for all the tutorials on the site. Enjoy this free tutorial and be sure to check us out at makethattrack.com. Hey everyone, welcome to part one of our Cubase Electro House tutorial. In this video, we're just going to be setting up our project, and we're going to make a really basic drum beat. So the first thing we're going to do is adjust our tempo. So in Electro House, it's typically 128. So we're going to hit F2 to bring up the transport panel. And what we want to do is make sure that this tempo here is unhighlighted so that we can adjust it. And then by default, it should be 120. And we're just going to click and drag this up to 128. Okay, perfect. Now we can hit F2 again to hide that. And the next thing we're gonna do is really quickly uh, set up some custom folders. So I'm gonna hit Controller Command and P to bring up the uh, media pool. And by default, you're just gonna see audio and video here. And you can right click on the audio and choose Create Folder. And then that's going to create uh, a folder underneath here that you can then drag and drop audio clips into so that you can quickly use them within Cubase. If I maximize this, you'll see that I've already made three folders in here with samples that we're going to be using with this tutorial. And we'll be visiting this window quite often. So now that that is all set up, let's take a look at how to create a basic drum kit. So we're going to be using what's called a Groove Agent, and that's just a native Cubase device that allows us to assign audio clips to different pads in order to uh, write in a drum beat, or uh, we can play it with a MIDI keyboard. So let's take a look at that. In order to get a Groove Agent in here, we're just going to right click here on the left and choose Add Instrument Track. And it's going to pop up this window here and we're going to want to select the Instrument menu. And then we're going to go to Drum and then Groove Agent. And then we'll hit Add Track. And it's going to pop up the Groove Agent here for us. And we're going to see a bunch of pads here on the left that are empty that we can drag and drop audio onto. So I'll hit Control and P to bring up my media pool window here again. And we'll go into the drums folder. Now we can just drag and drop these audio clips onto different pads. So I'll drag kick over onto this pad and then snare onto a different pad and our clap and our open hat. Okay, so now I can just click on these pads to play the corresponding sounds. And also what I can do is I can use a MIDI keyboard or a MIDI controller to play these pads. So as you can see, kick is tied to C1 here. So if I press C1 on my keyboard, it would play the kick. And snare is tied to C sharp one, clap D1, and open hat D sharp one. So now that that's set up, we can actually use this to write in a MIDI pattern and start creating a drum beat. So I'm actually going to go ahead and delete this because I already have a groove agent set up that I've called drums. So I'm going to go to Remove Selected Tracks. And if I open this up, you'll see that our Groove Agent is here with all the same samples. So now let's uh, create a drum beat with MIDI. So I'm going to right click here into our timeline, and I'm going to choose the Pencil tool. And then I'm just going to zoom in a little bit, and I'm going to draw a clip that's just one bar long. OK, now I'm going to right click and go back to the Arrow tool. And then I can double click on this, and it's going to open up our Score Editor. And now we can use this grid here to draw in a drum beat. So if you remember, our kick was tied to C1. So if I draw in a note here on C1, we'll be able to draw a kick pattern. Okay, and we'll do the same for our snare and our clap and our hi-hat. Okay, and we're going to keep things pretty basic here because in Electro House, the rhythms don't tend to be very complex. So once we have that written in, we can go back into our Groove Agent, and we can fine-tune some of our controls. So if, for instance, I wanted my clap to be a little bit quieter, I have a volume knob here that I can adjust that pertains to just the clap sound. So if I want it to be a little louder even, 
can turn that up. Or I can turn it down. I think negative 10 is exactly where I, it should be. Maybe our snare is a little quiet. Okay, and I also have a pan control here so that I can put uh, certain sounds on the left or the right speaker. But I'm going to leave everything in the middle for now. Okay, so I can close that. And let's just go ahead and click on this clip to select it. And then press Control or Command and D to duplicate it. And then I can select all four of these and duplicate them four at a time. And we'll just get 16 bars for now. Okay, that's going to do it for our drums. In the next video, we're going to be setting up some of the instruments for our song. We hope you've enjoyed part one of this course. To continue, please go to the website and select a membership to suit your needs. Welcome to MakeThatTrack.com. At Make That Track, we provide everything you need to make your favorite style of music from start to finish. Our Getting Started series will show a complete beginner where to start and what they need to do to start making music out of the box. Once the basics are grasped, you can learn how to make the genre of your choice with everything that you need in the process. Want to know how to make that elusive sound from your favorite producer's tracks? Check out our How To Make That Sound tutorials. We take the guesswork out and show exactly what you need to do to get that sound within a few simple steps. With tips on arrangement, mixing, mastering and effects, you'll have everything you need to prepare your tracks to send to a record label and to play in the clubs. Get everything you need to make the music you love today.